Watch it guys, we all love a free program and this one is about 10 free programs you should have on your computer. Now these programs are free to use and download and I'll leave all the links in the video description so you can just go there and download them. Some of these programs are pretty useful for PC techs and also if you want to troubleshoot your PC. The first one is HW Info. This is a really useful tool if you want to get system information and diagnostics of your computer. You just need to go in here and put sensor information and click run. This will open up the program itself and it will get all the information about your computer as you can see here. There is an update available but I'll close it off and do that a little bit later on. But as you can see here we've got current, medium, maximum and average. This gives you all of the CPU, uh, voltage, temperatures, uh, memory, virtual memory you see there, gives you all the clock uh, speeds, everything you need to know about your computer you can find out with HW Info. It's a really useful tool and uh, if you're like me that like to have a little tinker and have a little look around at some of the settings you can do inside here. You can set it up exactly how you want. It's got some useful settings here. You've got your layout, you've got your general, you've got your custom area, you've got your system tray, and again, you've got your on-screen display uh, section here as well. So if you want to um, implement this with another program, which I'll show you a little bit later on, then you can do. And this will give you some on-screen display options, some added ones on here for like power supply, stuff like that, power drawn. Very good and very useful. You can get all your system temps, your CPU temps, your hard drive temperatures, all that sort of useful information from this little program. Very useful indeed so let's take a look at the second program that i've picked which is called uh, cpuz now this is another program which can give you a lot more information about your uh, cpu on your computer you can see here it gives you exactly what cpu you've got uh, what uh, brand it is what version it also tells you uh, the tdp also what socket it is and uh, what current core voltage you're running it also gives you the cache information gives you uh, caches here as well. You've got your own little area here. You've got your core speed, your multiplier. It gives you a load of useful information. It even tells you your motherboard uh, model and make and uh, stuff like that. It gives you the memory information, all your timings uh, for your memory. You can go for SPD here. It tells you exactly what memory slot is selected. You can select another slot if you want and it will tell you all the information about that as well. You've got a bit of information about your graphics here as well and your, your bench and about. That is your second uh, program. So let's move on to the third program in the list, which is called GPU-Z. Now this one is all about, as you would guess, your GPU. And this gives you the same similar information as CPU, but for your GPU. So you can see here we've got the name of the GPU. It tells us uh, the release date, gives you all the uh, transitions, loads of other information on here. You've got your little lookup area here. You've got UEFI, BIOS version, um, loads of other bits inside here, your shaders, uh, DirectX supported, and you've got your sensors for your GPU here and your fan speeds. Loads of information on there as well, which is quite useful. Your power consumption, what is uh, being used right now, the power consumption and TDP readings, and you've got your uh, pref cap on there as well, which says idle because we're not doing anything at the moment gives you the driver date uh, that you're using, uh, which is quite useful, and a bunch of other information here, which is your temperature levels, your current minimum, default, and maximum. And this is what it will say here. So very useful stuff if you like to tinker or overclock your graphics card, or even if you just want to find out information about that graphics card. Let's move on to number four. This one's called Furmark. It's a benchmark or uh, stress test type um, uh, software where you can uh, benchmark or stress test your GPU and this is quite useful if you're buying used graphics cards on eBay or Gumtree or one of those sites there and you want to give it a quick burning test you can do that with this program be very very careful because you can uh, obviously break your hardware if you're not monitoring those temps so you can set up the screen resolution here which is very simple. You just have to select your screen resolution. And again, you've got anti-alias in here. You can have it in full screen mode. 
And of course you can do CPU burner here and also GPU shark and GPU Z tools are built into this program as well. You can go into your settings, you can do a burning, you can also uh, do GPU temperature alarm so you can set an alarm uh, just to make sure that uh, you're not pushing that GPU over the recommended amount and you can use the previous program to find out what that recommended amount is and then you can put it in here just to make sure you don't go above that threshold which is very useful. You've got your uh, presets here and you can also go straight into GPU stress test. Now, I'm not going to run it in this video but that's basically what you can do. I've made videos on this software before on its own but you can see here it will give you do the burning test at your own risk because it is quite an aggressive program. So if it does fail, it could mean that your GPU is bad. Now this software here is a really good favorite of mine. It's called AIDA64. This one's the extreme version. They do loads of different versions of AIDA64. Uh, you can choose uh, loads of good stuff here like driver updates, BIOS updates, you can get full reports. And of course, as you would uh, guess this will actually give you all the information about your computer hardware and software on your PC. You can see here motherboard gives you all the motherboard information and it gives you direct links to download biases, driver updates, all that sort of good stuff inside the actual program itself. Very very useful for PC repair technicians or people that are overclockers or just want to monitor some sort of information about their computer. You can see here it's got all your utilization for your CPU, uh, also your motherboard memory, chipsets, BIOS, all that sort of good stuff, your display here, Got loads of useful information in here, the storage, network, just about everything you can want to do with a computer you can monitor and analyze inside here. It even has a benchmarking uh, suite built into the actual program here so you can do a stability test of the system here. You can stress test the CPU, stress test the cache, uh, stress test the system memory and also the GPU. You can set it up exactly how you want here. Just let me just say no here. And again, you can run this in a trial basis if you wish. Just click start and away she goes and it will start giving you some useful information. You can see uh, the CPU ID there. You can get a lot of information about that as well. You can see it's just running there. Just going to stop that because I don't want to continue that while I'm doing this tutorial. But basically, pretty useful information and pretty useful program. If you've never heard of it before, go to their website and download uh, the software and have a little look at it. You can use the trial version and if you like it, then you can buy which one you ever want to buy. But it's definitely a must have better kit for any enthusiast or PC tech. So let's move on to another program here. So let me just close this one off and move on to the next program. So the next program I've chosen is Prime95. Now, if you have not used Prime95 before, it's a useful tool for stress testing the CPU and your memory. You can see here, you can open it up, you can run a torture test. And you can do a bunch of different uh, blends here. You can see a blend for memory and CPU, or you can do something more aggressive and just uh, hit the uh, CPU itself. Once you turn this on and start running it, uh, you will hear the fans kick in and you'll start seeing the temperatures rise. So you want to use one of those other softwares that we've already talked about to monitor the temperatures of the CPU, just to make sure they're not going above the recommended values because that could end up blue screening and stuff like that. This is quite useful for overclockers, but it's also good for troubleshooting and stress testing a CPU that you may have bought on eBay or something like that. Next up, we've got OCCT. This is a very old program. It's been around a long time, but they've given it a good revamp here. And uh, to be honest, it's a very useful bit of kit for overclockers or people who want to benchmark and stress test their systems. So this is what it looks like here. I do like the new user GUI interface. It looks really nice, nicely laid out, gives you loads of useful information about your memory, your CPU, your GPU, and uh, the power consumptions, all that sort of good stuff. But pretty awesome bit of software. It's got loads of good features on it. Now we're inside the system information here at the moment. You've got power here, you've got Memtest 3D, uh, Limpack, you've also got OCCT. You can change the resolutions here for your displays depending on what resolution you want to run it on. And you can run all your tests once you've done your own configurations. Very nice and useful and easy to do. 
Now again, uh, these programs are free. The only one that's a trial version is the AIDA 64, but I wanted to add it in because I think it's a very useful program and you can use it on trial, uh, on trial mode. So you can see here, we've got all the information for our temperatures here, for the CPU and the GPU and your memory and all that sort of good stuff. So very useful, a uh, bit of software to have. You can also see we have information about the hard drives and also we have uh, some information about voltage and stuff like that, which is very useful when you're overclocking. So you can check out all your volts uh, that you're putting through your hardware. It's got a nice little graph there down the bottom that's running so it just gives you an idea you've also got your fan readouts here which tells you all the revs per minute that the fans are spinning at and it also gives you some other information here which is quite useful on the fan side of things the power will give you all the power draw for cores and package and stuff like that for the cpu and you've got your frequencies here for all the cores that you're running it will give you all the frequencies that you're doing here very nice piece of software if you've never used this then give it a download it's free to use and it's pretty awesome been using this for many years so let's move on to our next piece of software now this one's called msi afterburner and this is a great piece of software for overclocking and also showing display of those results for like frames per second power draw and all that sort of stuff on the screen when you're playing games if you've ever wondered how that happens i've done a video on this and you can check that out it shows you how to set this up you can go into the settings here we're not talking about overclocking in this video we're just going to quickly talk about the software in general and what you can do with it now i use this for on-screen display and you can set it up to uh, display the gpu the cpu memory speeds and also cpu usage memory usage all that sort of good stuff and it's basically used for people that want to uh, show other people uh, what the results are like and what frames per second you can achieve with a certain type of um, graphics card and it will show that on the screen and then people will see the power draw and stuff like that and can work out how good the graphics card is now you can overclock graphics cards as well with this piece of software but just be very careful that you don't push it above uh, the hardware limit otherwise you can damage your hardware moving on to the next one speed fan couldn't leave this one out it's an awesome bit of software and it's a great way of controlling all the fans inside your computer it's a pretty decent bit of kit and i've made uh, reviews of all of this sort of software what you're seeing on this video so check those videos out they will be in my playlist i'll try and leave all the links for all the software in the video description but you can see here you've got all the voltages fan control and stuff like that so if you are using uh, fans that are plugged into the motherboard then you will be able to use a speed fan to uh, control all of those from your desktop as long as the fans are plugged into the motherboard then you will be able to control all of that stuff from here which makes it quite useful you can put a fan curve in and make it all nicely uh, coming in at certain uh, points so for instance when your pc gets to say for instance uh, 50 degrees celsius you might want to ramp those fans up a little bit and you can set a nice fan graph in there so moving on to number 10 we have the heaven benchmark now this is quite an old piece of software but it's quite useful for benchmarking uh, your system and getting a general idea of how your pc performs you can download this software for free get it all set up with your resolution your anti-aliasing uh, whether you're using multi monitors and stuff like that get it all set up and then run a benchmark with it so you can set the quality to high they've got a bunch of different versions of this software to give you much more graphic intense uh, experience so you can really push uh, the limits of that graphics card and work out what sort of score you get they call these benchmark scores and people like to post them online uh, especially when they're overclocking and stuff like that you can also use it as some sort of diagnosis software where you can test your graphics card to see whether it fails during that sort of process and you know the graphics card is bad so don't forget i'll leave all the links for you in the video description and you can then download these and check them out for yourself my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.